talking about the things that matter most to you, Catholic Women Now. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Catholic Women Now on Iowa Catholic Radio. I'm Julie Nelson, and today I am flying solo. Chris is out of the studio today. However, I'm not flying completely solo because our guest today, or my guest today, will be uh, is Lisa Schmidt. She is going to be joining us talking about a exciting event that's going to be happening here in the next couple of weeks here in Iowa with the Damascus Mission Camp. Um, it's a Holy Spirit mission, and she's going to explain what this is and why we should come and why you should go. So I'll bring her on here in a few minutes, but in the meantime, I'd like to open up the show with prayer and entrust this half hour to the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we do a Truth, Beauty, and Goodness segment every week, and I really have been thinking about this, um, asking the Lord, uh, Jesus, what is it today that you want to be known? And it kind of falls under goodness and Lately, I've just, God has just been putting things into my life of seeing the goodness in the world. We hear so much of the things that are of, you know, angst and and tension, but there's a lot of goodness happening. And it always reminds me of Romans 8, 28, where um, it says God brings good out of everything. And then one of the things that I've been noticing is the remarkable amount of uh, professional athletes who are proclaiming their faith boldly in interviews especially and I was watching the Chiefs on um, this this weekend and they were playing the Falcons and I uh, there was a couple of Falcon players that were interviewed post game interview and one of them all he talked about was Jesus. It was like he couldn't. Even, he didn't even give the interviewer a chance to ask a question. She asked the initial question about his performance or the game, and he right went right into Jesus being his savior, his Lord, and he kept going on and on. And finally, he did finally answer her question. But it was like he knew he didn't want to give her any any space for that not to be heard. And then I saw recently where the football players at Ohio State organized an on-campus praise and worship night. And all these kids were coming and these kids were being, their hearts were being melted. Their hearts were like giving their hearts to Jesus. And it was so incredible to see people of such influence, especially with young people. And um, from where I sit in the church, it's just so refreshing to see um, young adults coming so alive and being so bold and just being so in love with Jesus and to proclaim his love and to show his love to others and bring the gospel message. So that's been my really pondering goodness this week. And this also kind of ties into our show today because I am going to bring on right now Lisa Schmidt. Lisa is the Director of Evangelization Faith Formation at St. Thomas Aquinas in Ames, Iowa. Lisa, welcome to, back to Catholic Women Now. Thank you, Julie. So great to be here. Well, you know, I'm solo, but I'm not solo because, as many of you may know, that Lisa and I started together on Catholic Women Now back in the day. And I want to say Lisa really was a big and really big part of the beginning. Lisa, you laid some really good foundation and brought some great ideas that really launched the shows. And I'm always grateful for that. Well, thanks. I'm kind of learning that that's part of my charism cluster set that the Lord has breathed in me. (laughs) You know, get something going and then let it go. Back away, galvanize the people around you that the Holy Spirit has placed along my path, and then step away and let the Lord continue to bless it in His way, in His favor. So I don't know. I think that was just part of it, too. It's like just starting, helping you start the show, and then backing away, and letting you and Chris take off with it. Well, you have really done that in a lot of areas. You started the well, <laughs> <laughs> and we worked together on the well, and, and now you're at St. Thomas Aquinas doing this again with this event that you are organizing here in a, in a couple of weeks. So tell us a little bit about uh, just what Damascus Awaken is. Sure thing. Um, some of uh, you listeners may be familiar with Damascus Mission Camp. Um, it's a apostolate based out of Ohio that really focuses on um, high adventure uh, camp experiences, so high adventure activities leads to high adventure faith. And they're really, uh, their focus is on um, 
organizing opportunities for especially young people and young adults to come to their their retreat center, their camp center, and um, encounter Jesus in a new, powerful way. Um, you know, you like I love that scene from The Chosen with Jesus and Mary Magdalene in season one, where she meets him, <laughs> or she was one way, she meets Jesus, and now I am another. You know, and I feel like that with Damascus, that's really what happens with um, people who encounter their encounter Jesus through their programming is they were one way, they come to these experiences and these events that they lead, and then they leave another um, rooted with, uh, with Jesus and a life with him. Well, I, I follow I follow them on Facebook, and I encourage everybody to go out to Facebook and look at the testimonies of especially the kids because they come on Monday, and they're a different child. They're a different person on Friday, and their testimonies are just like they bring tears to my eyes. Like there's like kids who will get up and say, "I've never spoken in front of so many people before," and 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 I just want to say, "I just love Jesus. I didn't know him when I came, but now I do." And, and you're just like. It's just so refreshing and it's just such an exuberance and just such an innocence, just ex- explanation of the of the transformation that's happened to them. Yeah, and I think what lit the fire within me is a couple years ago, I took my oldest at the time. I've since had um, a couple of my children go, but my oldest daughter went um, for a week. And this is when Damascus was still located in Wisconsin. Had a, They had a hub in Wisconsin. So um, I drove up for the closing mass. And I sat there and I wept <laughs> and I wept because oh. I, w- I kept hearing testimony camp, you know, eighth grader, ninth grader, you know, just mere teenagers, right? And tweens get up and talk about how Jesus encountered them in such a powerful way. And I sat there and I just continued to cry and cry, like shed these tears, these holy, holy tears from the Holy Spirit. And I, that day I said, okay, Lord, like, I know you're calling me, you're inviting me into something. What is it? But let me, you know, let me do your will here and let me do whatever I can so that every child that I know in in my sphere of influence has the opportunity to experience what my daughter just experienced this past week. And so since then, um, of course, we have some huge Iowa ties with Damascus. Right, we um, do. At, at, at that time, Sam Halligan, who grew up in Des Moines, went to Dowling um, and has now has a huge leadership position with Damascus. He was the director of that camp at the time, and he's somebody I know. And his mom taught two of my kids at St. Pius when we lived in Des Moines. And they... Um, Anyway, I, I just said, Sam, what do we got to do? <laughs> what do we got to do here to, to, to expose more kids to the events and the experiences that can trigger a faith commitment like I saw in those 200 kids that day? Well, so we're, we're, we're going to yeah. well, okay, oh, so take a little break. I'm sorry, Lisa. Uh, we're going to take a little I'm break. But, yes, but I want listeners to know that this is a really wonderful thing. So stay tuned. We're going to talk more about this. So uh, you're listening to Catholic Women Now here in Iowa County. Catholic Radio, and my guest is Lisa Schmidt. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio. My guest today is Lisa Schmidt. She is the Director of Evangelization and Faith Formation at St. Thomas Aquinas Church in Ames, Iowa. Right before the break, she was telling us about her own personal experience through the testimony of her children who attempted Damascus camp, uh, summer camp, and what that led her to do by the Lord. So Lisa, picked up, pick up from there. Sure. So basically, what <laughs> what the next best steps are is to just continue to galvanize and bring people together here in Iowa and in the Midwest region with a, a grassroots effort. And um, the, the big kingdom dream is that one day um, there will be a retreat center that, that I will be, become a mission hub for Damascus. So just like that first place that my daughter went in Wisconsin, that's no longer in operation. Like, let's why not bring that um, here in Iowa? And so, but that doesn't happen overnight. It takes a whole lot of work. And what we, the goal right now is just, okay, if the Lord is anointing this and wants this here, let's just take steps little by little. And the first, you know, the next best thing is to bring Damascus here for a one night um, welcoming, joy filled <laughs> encounter with the Lord through Eucharistic adoration, uh, through praise and worship, through powerful testimony, just to gather people together to experience. 
expose them to what Damascus is. Just a little, a little foretaste of what what youth might experience at a week long camp, but also what adults might experience because Damascus is more than just opportunities for young people. They also have uh, family retreats, uh, adult retreats, um, both men's and women's. So, um, at any rate, we're bringing Damascus here, so they're high energy, high quality um, experience. We're bringing them to Iowa, um, to Cedar Rapids, so a little bit outside of the Des Moines metro. Um, but on October 19th, it's a Saturday evening, they're going to come for um, this, this, this called Awaken Iowa. Um, and like I said, it's going to be Jesus-centered, mission-focused, joy-filled. The missionaries from Damascus are going to come and engage with us here in Iowa. And we are praying for over a 1,000 people to be there. Um, so that's going to be located um, downtown Cedar Rapids. Um, and I don't know if, people, if the listeners are aware, but kind of Cedar Rapids is becoming this really awesome Catholic hub for it is. young adults. Well, the whole um, Archdiocese of Dubuque is, really. Yeah, praise Jesus, yes. right? Like, let's go, let's mm-hmm. go. Holy Spirit, blow and, that over the line here. <laughs> yeah, Diocese but, of Des Moines. Yeah, exactly. So um, w- what happened is <laughs> just a group of adults who have... Um, kind of some familiarity with Damascus because our children have been going to camp there or our children have been missionaries there. So we've got some um, parents whose young adult children are full-time missionaries with Damascus who are on this team. And we're like, why not? Let's bring them here. And we're able to uh, secure the Veterans Memorial Building in Cedar Rapids. Um, And it's free admission for families to come. Um, And we're encouraging anybody, youth, young adults, families with young children, grandparents, old Older adults, like anyone, because again, the idea is to reinvigorate the church with a fresh understanding of who the Holy Spirit is and inspire a passion for life in union with Him. That transcends age, (laughs) Um, you know, like different cohorts of ages. And we want grandparents to come so that they can encourage their grandchildren to come. We want young adults to come who will one day have children. Um, We want, you know, like whole families with younger children to come. It's really, we just want people gathered together um, to experience this. This, um, this joyful atmosphere and encounter Jesus in a real intimate way. So um, the night's going to start off, like for those of us who are traveling over to Cedar Rapids, we'll have a traveler's mass at 4 o'clock in the same space, um, the Veterans Memorial Building in Cedar Rapids, and then the official event begins at 6.30. So if you come for Mass at 4, um, we're going to have like food trucks outside after Mass. You can leave the, the building for a little bit and just step outside. It's just a really cool space out there in downtown Cedar Rapids. Grab some food, um, come back into the building at 6, and then at 6.30, Damascus is going to kick off things with their praise and worship, um, their, their preaching, their teaching, and we're have a really strong um, Eucharistic adoration and heartfelt prayer opportunity um, to encounter the Lord in that way. I love that adoration because, you know, you just get Jesus out and amazing things he does with people's hearts. And um, I don't know if you went to the National Eucharistic Congress or not, but uh, that uh, night of the Eucharistic Congress with Father Boniface Hicks, you could hear a pin drop and you could just sense the Holy Spirit. But that's what's so beautiful about these events is when you gather people together, the Holy Spirit shows up in big and large ways. And because we're all bringing it, we're all calling upon him and the faith rises in the room like to levels I you know you don't experience just anywhere and um, yeah. that you know I've seen people get healed in that just just by being in that atmosphere and yeah. and but you know what it's that transformation of the heart it's that encounter with the, the love of Jesus that you know is undeniable for people and they walk away like I, like you said at first I was this way and now I met him and now I'm another way and it's it, it, it's hard to, you know, it's like this, Lisa, for me, it's like I can tell you about a wonderful meal I had and all the beautiful food and what it was. But until you taste it, you don't really understand and fully appreciate that meal. And it's kind of like that with these this event. So, you know, people, I, I really want to encourage people to go. I've gone to several events like this and you'll never be the same. In fact, it's such a, a an incredible awakening like just the name is and opening the heart and you're like oh your spiritual eyes are open and your spiritual ears are are open and you see things so differently Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, do I, have, <laughs> do I have a little bit of time to talk? We have here? about a minute and a half if you <laughs> want to just start. Yeah. Because <laughs> clearly I'm passionate about this, and I could keep going on and on. I so. love it. I love it. Yeah. I did, so two things just came to mind as you were talking, Julie. Um, one is, you know, you hear so often, like, the church, like, it, it's dead. Where are the kids? And mm-hmm. the comparison with some of the, you know, our evangelical friends who have some of these high-energy praise and worship encounters. And um, I just wanted to say, like, I, we have an experience before us. Like, we have this opportunity that's right here. And I just want to invite people, um, you know, you may have to drive a little bit. It may take an hour or so to get there on October 19th. But um, I, I I think your eyes will be open. Like you said, your heart will be opened. And um, we're, we're doing the work to get people there. The Holy Spirit's going to do the rest. Mm-hmm. So I just encourage people, like, just do the work to get there and let the Holy Spirit work um, miracles within your heart, both, like, in ways of healing that you spiritual healing and physical healing and um, all his glory. And then um, the other thing, (laughs) I don't even know what the other thing was. Well, you know, we need to take a break. So maybe we'll just take a little break and we'll come back to that. Um, You're listening to Catholic Women Now on Iowa Catholic Radio. And my guest today is Lisa Schmidt. And we are talking about the event coming up in Cedar Rapids, October 19th, called Awaken. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now. I'm Julie Nelson. Chris is out of the studio this week. My guest today is Lisa Schmidt. She is the Director of Evangelization and Faith Formation at St. Thomas Aquinas in Ames, Iowa. She's here talking about an event coming up October 19th, Awaken in Cedar Rapids. It's a Damascus camp um, mission. So, Lisa, tell us a little bit more, like, where can people get tickets? What about the flow of the evening? I know um, it's a two-hour drive for us here in Des Moines. What, what can we do as far as can we get back in time? Just tell us a little bit of the details. Sure. So, awakeniowa.com. You just go there and reserve your free ticket. Like I said, it's free, but I, we would love for you to reserve your ticket because there is a lot of energy around this. We were at Christ Our Life a couple weeks ago, and tons of people <laughs> signed up to come. So, I'd really love for you to um, uh, go to awakeniowa.com and just reserve your tickets free ticket so that we can ensure that we have seats for you. Um, it, and, and then if you go to that website, you'll find out about like parking and, you know, all the details, logistics about, about the night. Um, the event will run until probably eight thirty nine o'clock. So those of you who are driving a little bit, um, I think you can make it home in a decent hour. <laughs> you I agree. Have to spend the night at Cedar Rapids. Um, you know, sometimes we stay later at Iowa State football games or Iowa football games. So, exactly, um, and I can tell you, you're gonna, you're not even. It's not even gonna be. A, it's gonna be an easy drive home after experiencing this. Yeah, yeah, you'll 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 be energized with the spirit mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention too is continuing to build this grassroots momentum and this um, galvanizing excitement for what could be this kingdom dream, dream perhaps is at at the end of the event on October 19th, um, we're going to hand out um, information about what Damascus is calling Iowa Week at their Ohio camp. They're reserving 250 spots for Iowa youth, middle school, so rising sixth graders through rising 12th graders um, next school year. They're reserving 250 spots just for Iowa students to go. Um, And for those of you who aren't familiar, their camp fills up within like 48 hours. Their entire eight-week summer camp, um, 500 kids each week, fills up. That's telling you something, that how much favor is on this whole um, apostolate called Damascus Mission. But they, so having those seats reserved is crucial because um, you don't have to fight with everybody to get into the system when, to, um, when seats go on sale. Um, I think it's that next Monday the 20th or 21st or something of October. But we'll have 250 spots reserved for Iowa kids to go, and that will be week eight, which happens to be dead week here in Iowa. So all of you kids who are in sports don't have to worry about missing your, your practices and your, um, you know, your, your weightlifting or whatever it is because we chose that week specifically. What, what are the exact dates of sport. that, did you say? Oh, geez. That's a great question. Hang on. Let me pull up my calendar really quick. Uh, July... Um, 27 through August 1st, okay. 2025. Okay. 
show, but you'll get your information about Iowa Week at Awaken. So um, you've got to come in person and get it there. And this is the one in Ohio, right? Yeah, that's, to... yeah that'll be yep, at the mothership. So you get the yep. full, full experience and then um, really see what, what it's like. And then, a for, again, a foretaste of what could be here in Iowa for um, perhaps a... Um, um, to build a, a mission hub here. So they are doing that across the country. They are building mission yes. hubs. That is their next their next uh, scaling to, is to reach out to other areas, which is exciting. And, um, and you know, I was talking to Sam. I know Sam, too. And, you know, I'm now I'm a grandparent, right? So things are looking different. And I remember a priest told me a few years ago, he goes, what you're doing now is not for your children. It's for your grandchildren. And I was t- sharing that with Sam. And he says, yeah, we have a lot of grandparents giving it as a gift. <laughs> for their grandkids yeah. to go. So there's always that opportunity, too, to give it as a gift. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, um, But, you know, Lisa, we have just about a couple minutes here. And I'm, it's always interesting for all of us to know, like, someone like you who's been inspired to do this, what has been your personal journey and encounter with the Holy Spirit? Oh, geez, Julie. <laughs> I know, I know, just see you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you know my story probably better than a whole lot of people is because we've been friends for so long. Um, I'll tell you what, I remember specifically the night where, uh, the day where the Holy Spirit really grabbed my heart in a new, intimate way. And that was when, um, when Father Ubald, rest his soul, was still alive. He came to Des Moines. He came to Holy Trinity with um, Immaculate. Um, Illa Begizia, and they had a basically a healing mission, and they came and they and he started prophesying healing, and oh gosh, I'm getting emotional. I might cry right here. Um, and one of the healings that he prophesied was for my mom. It had been shortly after my dad had passed away, and he started revealing details about my dad's death and my family, my my extended family's situation that only <clears throat> the Holy Spirit could have placed on his heart. Um, and up until that moment, like that whole day, I was really suspicious. I was just like, what is this hocus pocus? <laughs> what is going on here? Like, I don't know if this is legit. And then um, I was praying, like, Lord, whoever needs to be healed, let them be healed. If it's my mom and her recent widowhood, let her be healed. Little did I know, it was me. Oh. <laughs> me as well, like, my lack of faith, my, um, like, Lord, I believe, let, you know, or I let me believe in my unbelief, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and just touched me in a new way, like, he is real. He's living. He's um, right here. Uh, he's in me. He's in you. You know, like, and, and he wants to unite us and connect us to the power of his fire, the fire of his great love. And it was, you know, it took me a while, like, to really dig deeper into that. I mean, that was a powerful experience, right? Yeah. Um, but little by little over the years, um, just continually to draw me in um, deeper, further up and further in. And, um, now, geez, like, it's like my body of work is all just of the Holy Spirit. Like, I just, okay, what you got for me today? And um, I'm now um, a student in the Encounter School of Ministry. Yay. Um, I help work with the um, Holy Spirit Healing Fire Mission Team, part of the Archdiocese. Um, so it's, it's kind of crazy, like, to see how the Lord has moved in such powerful ways so quickly, too. Like, there's a passage from the prophet Joel where he talks about, in in the book of Joel, where um, the Lord can restore the damage that the locusts have eaten away, like, you know, in the in the, in the the snap of your finger, right? It's just, uh-huh. mm-hmm. He has the ability to restore that like that. And that's really how the Lord has been working in my life. It's Beautiful, Lisa. Be All right. You. Well, you know what? Thank you for sharing your testimony because, you know, um, stories, um, facts tell, but stories sell. So thank you so much for sharing that because this is a, this is what Awaken is about. This is what's, you know, the whole mission of all this with the Holy Spirit. So thank you, Lisa, for being with me today. It's been fun to have you here on the, uh, on the show again. So, and I'll see you in Cedar Rapids. You see in Cedar Rapids, October 19th. Okay. All right. Well, come Holy Spirit, come, come Holy Spirit, come fill us and renew us. Amen. Now go do impossible things with God. Today's Catholic Women. On the voice for Catholic Women Now. Iowa Catholic Radio. Do impossible things you know.